Hi, this is Didi Sanchez from Scrappy Gamer DDS, and this is my June share of the My Paper Pumpkin Kit. I already did a video where I showed you the contents, and I said that I would do my part two, which is to actually create what was the intended design and try to come up with something new and original with the supplies that were provided. So it came with enough to create 24 pinwheel um, shapes out of the cardstock which was cut like this already scored um cut and pre-punched with holes and it's double-sided paper nice quality i actually have four of each color left over there were actually eight of each color double-sided paper and so i made a few i didn't make a lot but i'm gonna show you everything that i made so you can see how much and we have eight papers still left so the intended directions had pinwheels, they had little straws, and they had pinwheels that were just placed, I guess, around the table, and then they had little cookie bags, which they provided the silo bag. So, I made the pinwheels, and I attached the little banners that came with it. So, we have one of the papers, which has the double-sided, so depending upon how you fold it, you would get either the stripes or the stars um, in front. Um, basically you glue dot the back and it's a decorative item you can stick into you know a votive or some kind of um, flower vase so I made two of those so I can show you just two different colors and the um, things the, the the little silver thumbtack looking they just look so cute um, I also they included baker's twine so I put the baker's twine on this um, particular tab and again glued so we have two versions two of the papers used here the straws are pretty hard I haven't tried to use one so I don't know if it would stand up stand up to uh, liquid but I'm assuming that they would only because in the directions they also had straws that were just laid out with little tags on them so you know I basically had to do one to mimic what was presented so all I did was stamp the word party and it came with the uh, stamps for party celebrate and these stars and uh, the ink was the Knight of Navy so I stamped those and I just wrapped it around so one example of that and then I made the other paper which was polka dot and striped a uh, little zigzag stripe so this was like the one where you can just lay it as decor on the table it's very cute and then I made one bag of the uh, cookie bag so we have a silo bag and then we have the pinwheel attached and I just took one of a uh, baker's twine to close it up and one of the banners I stamped on one side and the other and when I folded it you could see both sides that were stamped so you could make 24 of these you could make just 24 straws or just 24 heads the pinwheel heads that you would just lay around the table or 24 actual pinwheels the only thing is, you know, it's all with glue dots, so it doesn't spin, but it's more, it's decor, so it's not meant to be um, functional. I don't know if there's a way that uh, maybe we flatten it out and punch the bread through, loosen it up, that it could spin. I'm going to look into that. I should have tried that before doing this video, but I just thought about that now. we always thinking, always creating, right? So, what I wanted to show you now was what could also be done. So... I'm not claiming that these two ideas were my originals. I'm part of a Paper Pumpkin Bootcamp and Stamping Up actually gave us a webinar previewing this kit and one of the things that they made was a banner. So I'm going to bring that in that could be hung at your party or event. So how this was created was to make some pinwheels for the swoop area and then each of these triangles was one quarter of the page so I used three one two three four five six yes so that's twelve so I used three of these so one of each so it has a front and a back so I alternated so you see the red is here but then the polka dot is over there so I'm using just three and three more so I used six all together I was able to make this one um, swoopy banner which is 23 it's about 46 inches long you see it keep going and it's a little swag and so 
it's double sided for the most part except for the pinwheel but you could put a pinwheel on the other side as well and the other accent was the little thin banners that they gave for the straws so this was actually something that they demonstrated to us in the webinar that we were watching as part of the boot camp so I created one and decided to show it to you guys and so this is something that also could be done with the kit but it wasn't an original part of the directions and so the other one that they did was to create these little bow ties and again this was stamping up but I took um, the directions that they provided to us and the directions were very simple and so you have these two opposing flaps were basically cut off so not all the way all the way to the edge which you could do I cut them a little bit up like maybe a half an inch from where it bends and I would have these extra pieces which I got creative with but for now these were done using one so once you remove those flaps you're able to bend over and create the bow tie effect so I made a couple one from each paper and I took the pennants that we had been provided and I just folded them and used them to make oopsie the um, little pendants that would hang down. So here is just the word celebrate, nice and plain. Here is the um, one that I created with the double set of stars. And then this one has the word party. And then I also did the stars on the other side. So this used three pieces of paper and three uh, pendants that came with it. So what to do with the little pieces that you cut off. So, honestly, this was a very unique shape for me, and I was not able to um, honestly come up with anything. Um, I sat there, I sat there, and I'm being honest, but I had the alternative projects to make, and as a Stamping Up demonstrator, I would be able to bring that to you guys that are subscribers. Um, but once I started cutting this up, I could use this paper as regular paper. So the pieces, just these pieces that I took, so two, so I had six all together. So two from each of the bow ties, and I decided to make cards with them. So what I did was I punched out with the pansy punch from um, one, two of the, from this guy, the two pieces left over, I punched out from each of the sides one pansy punch with our pansy punch. And then I took the petite petals and was able to get three more little petite petal flowers to add to the corner. And I used the banner, tried to give it a little bit of lift so it's not flat, flat to the floor. Um, excuse me, not the floor. Uh, flat to the paper. And then I squished, I don't know if you could tell, I flattened the straws to create these little, um, stems I guess you could call them. Underneath here is the baker's twine. I just wanted to add a little fuzziness underneath and then once I had that there I said oh I'm gonna add a little bling. So I used the thumbtacks that they provided in a couple of glue dots and we're good to go. You can write your sentiment, you can use it as an invitation, maybe use another word, the celebrate. It also came with the word celebrate. So that was one card that I made using two of the triangles from here. So I was crafty there. And you can totally do that. Then with the other one, I had another four. So I had polka dots and I had stripes. So I decided to cut them in a pennant style. So I was able to put the pennants across the top of a card. Now this is the opposite side. So this is the stripe zigzag. So this and this are the front and back of the same paper and these two. So I just did the blue, then the gray, the red, and then the gray again. And so I have another card. I used the stamp set from the set as it was included. And then I looked for a nice um, sentiment. And this came from one of our stamp sets, which is called Bravo. So it has a lot of nice choices. It's mostly like a graduation stamp, but I thought the patriotic and the hip hip hooray for, you know, the 4th of July would be appropriate. So I was able to create this using the other paper so nothing went to waste. I basically had tiny little triangles left over and I still kept those and threw them in the box because I could punch something out of those. So this was another card that was made using parts of 
um, the bow tie paper. And so then I started thinking about the straws. Now, like I said, I haven't tried to see if these are usable. I haven't stuck them in a drink yet. But I like the idea of, you know, you're at a party, you have a drink, you have a beverage. So what I did was I stamped the stars on one side, folded it over, glue dotted it there, and now I've personalized it. So now where this guy is, that's my drink. And I thought that was a great thing because, you know, whenever you have those barbecues and those picnics, you have cups everywhere and nobody knows whose is what. But if you can do this to a straw, it's an awesome idea and awesome little trick for, you know, entertaining. So this is the June kit and um, I hope that you take away something from this. I hope that it, it shows the uniqueness of the paper pumpkin and all the products that could come. And again, if you want to subscribe, it's in the link below and you can reach out to me and I can give you some more information and I want to do paper pumpkin events. So um, let's see if you live in Glendale, Queens, we can maybe do this. And uh, thank you for watching.